Well, hey, my preschool friends. Uh, my name's Jeff, and I'm back again to talk to you. And I brought a friend with me. I brought our eagle. Uh, everyone wave hi to the eagle. He's waving hi to you. And I brought my eagle because uh, we're going to talk a little bit about today what, uh, what happens when people have a rough day. Now, my eagle friend here, he uh, likes to act big and strong and proud because he's a big, tough eagle. Sometimes he has a rough day and things just aren't going very well for him. And when that happens, he needs encouragement. Now, we talked about encouragement this week uh, in our true Bible story. We learned about a guy with a really fun name. His name was Barnabas. And Barnabas loved to be encouraging to others. He uh, sold a field and gave the money to the disciples so they could help and encourage poor people. He traveled with his friend Paul to tell others about Jesus, and he helped encourage Paul on their journey. And he even had a friend named Mark who actually kind of quit one of their journeys, but Barnabas stuck with him and helped encourage him to be stronger and more courageous on their next trip. Barnabas was very encouraging, and we need to be very encouraging too. So I've got some cards right here, and they describe some days that can make Friends like my little eagle here have rough days. And I want us to practice what we would say to someone or do for someone if they were having a rough day. We want to learn what it means to be encouraging to them. So I've got my cards here. Let's see. The first one says, our friend doesn't have anyone to play with. What could you say or do for that friend? I'll probably oh, look at eagle. Eagle's feeling pretty discouraged by that. What could you say to him? Yeah, you could just say, hey, Mr. Eagle, I would play with you. And that would make him so happy again. That would be very encouraging. If our friends don't have someone to play with them, then we could play with them. All right. Let's see our next card. Oh, our friend misses their mommy and daddy. Oh, look. He's having a rough day again. I'm sorry, buddy. What could you say or do to your friend if they are missing their mom or dad? There's some great ideas. We could offer to play with them. We could say, I know your mommy and daddy loves you. I know your mommy and daddy will come back for you. Like, like on Sunday morning, sometimes when we're together, we have a friend who starts to miss their mom and dad during church service. We can say, they're going to come back for you. They love you. Oh, and it makes them so happy. Again, I bet that happens at preschool sometimes too. You have friends who just start to miss mommy and daddy during the day. Oh, Eagle says, yes, that happens to him all the time, I guess. All right, next one. Someone called our friend a mean name. Oh, our poor eagle. Someone called him a uh, feather face. Oh, that's so mean. What could we say to cheer up our eagle friend? Yeah, we could remind them about nice things. We could remind them about how nice they look or how tall they are or how God made them special. All kinds of things will make our friend cheer up again. That's so nice. We could even give them a hug. That's always a way to encourage a friend who's sad is to give them a hug. All right. Oh, this one's pretty sad. Our friend's mom and dad are fighting with each other. Oh, look at what poor eagle thinks. What could we say if we're at preschool or here at church and our friend says, my mommy and daddy were fighting. That's scary, isn't it? Well, we could remind them that we love them and their teacher loves them and that God loves them. Oh, look, he's starting to feel better. We could give them a hug. We could say, I know it's scary. Sometimes our friends just need to hear that we know how they're feeling. When we say nice things, we could give them a hug. That's always good. We could play with them. That's good. You guys had lots of good ideas. He's feeling better already. I've got two more. Our friend lost their favorite toy. Oh, he got really sad all of a sudden. He lost his favorite toy. What could we say or do with our friend? We could offer to share our toy with him. Oh, that made him happy. 
We could offer to help look for their toy. Yeah, that would be a great thing to do. And last one. Our friend fell down and bumped their head. Oh, wow, look at him. He's getting sadder by the minute. What could we do? We could ask if we could get them a Band-Aid. Band-Aids make everything feel better. Or ice. Or we could help them go to their mommy or the nurse or a teacher. We could be a good friend to them. That's always a good thing to do. You guys did such a good job of encouraging our friend Eagle today. He feels so much better. Oh, you're so good. You're such good friends and such good encouragers. I'm going to have him go away now. Bye. <laughs> well, I've got one final question for you. Our big idea this week is that uh, my church helps me and I help my church. So how could you be an encouraging person at church? You know, some of the cards we read about rough days can happen at church, right? We can have friends who miss their mommy and daddy or friends who can't find their favorite toy or friends who are just a little lonely. In fact, almost every week here at Kids Church, there are kids who come who are brand new and they don't know anyone and they get a little scared. We can introduce ourselves to new kids. We could ask them to sit by us. We could share our toys with them. We could let them know what we know about Jesus, that Jesus loves them. There are so many things that we can do to encourage our old friends and our new friends here at church. And that's really important because your church helps you and you help your church. Well, I hope that you had good practice today being encouraging. Eagle definitely feels better. Here's what I want you to do at home today. Anytime you sense that someone is maybe a little bit sad, make sure that you say or do something encouraging to them. Because when you do that, you are doing exactly what Jesus taught us to do when he was here. I love you guys and miss you. I'll see you again next week for our preschool experience. Bye-bye.